Welcome to Health is Wealth Central. This is another Health is Wealth video on my channel today. So thanks for stopping by. Alright, so today's video I'm going to be discussing 12 benefits of sit-ups. 12 benefits of sit-ups. So this is based on an article. Um, I found this article on fitnessapi.com. I will put the uh, link to this website in my show notes below the video so you can just check that out so you can get the direct link to this web page so you can look at the 12 benefits of sit-ups. Um, it is written on January 17, 2020 by James Gross. Um, he is the author of the uh, article so I'll be covering um, what he covers in this article so I'll be talking about that today. Just a quick note um, because I am covering the 12 benefits of sit-ups just in case some of you are not familiar with sit-ups most people are but if you're someone that's not super familiar with it or you just want to make sure that you do it properly I am also going to include a link to a short YouTube video that is less than two minutes long that just shows us how to do a sit-up and that is from livestrong.com there's a personal trainer uh, she quickly goes through it it doesn't take very long so you can watch that video if you want to have uh, a clear understanding of how to do the exercise she also gives a quick um, a variation to it showing how to do a little bit easier of a modification version by using the, the hands to help to pull you up um, that would be good for someone just starting off uh, as always you want to be careful when you exercise so you don't hurt yourself and uh, again I'm not a doctor so please uh, see your doctor to make sure you get the okay to do sit-ups alright so now on to the article so before we get into the 12 benefits um, James writes he says after many years of experience as a seasoned body fitness trainer we have come to realize that sit-ups top the list of exercises that barely requires any skills it breaks our heart when we see people shying away from sit-ups for alleged lack of a personal trainer yet these exercises can be accomplished anywhere this includes at home or even during work breaks besides they don't have time restrictions and it can be done in the morning or just after waking up in the evening or even just before bed uh, when done diligently the benefits of sit-ups extend well beyond facilitating muscle growth and enhanced tonality in other words you can get a lot more benefits than just the, the muscle that you'll build from doing the sit-ups uh, you get other benefits such as balance and uh, improved um, you will well we'll get into it anyhow but uh, you know posture and things like that all right so James says in fact he says statistics uh, show us that sit-ups are capable of creating a synergistic environment within your body this allows your organs and your muscles to harmonize in reaching a point of prime optimization what beats now he's asking a question here he's saying what beats an effortless exercise that requires minimal training time or commitment read on to realize as I have the major benefits to be derived from doing sit-ups on a regular basis and again I have the link in the show notes where you can get access to um, livestrong.com a, a quick minute and 30 second video basically where a woman shows you how to perform sit-ups just so you can double check it's always good to make sure you're doing exercise properly especially when you want to get the maximum benefit and not injure yourself so that I, I recommend it it's a very quick watch so okay now that said no further ado on to the 12 benefits of sit-ups the first benefit is strengthening muscles it's probably the obvious one but let's read what James has to say he writes contrary to the prevailing misconception sit-ups do not solely work on your abs in fact these exercises create variable movements that include the motion of lifting your whole abdominal weight this enables them to work out quite a number of muscle groups as explained below stabilizer muscles now he's going to list a few different types here a few different types of muscles within the body that are used during sit-ups so the first one stabilizer muscles these are tasked with connecting a wide range of muscle groups which facilitates your ability to use them in a coordinated coordinated manner the stabilizer muscles are usually thoroughly worked when you're doing sit-ups so that's great next leg muscles the muscles in your legs benefit greatly from regular sit-ups this is crucial crucial for improved mobility hip flexors hip flexors these are responsible for connecting the stabilizers which in turn facilitates your ability to bend and rotate 
Lastly here on point number one is back muscles. Sit-ups are especially ideal for working out your back muscles, which are perceived as core muscle groups. These are required in your everyday movements, including lifting things. So stabilize, stabilizer muscles, leg muscles, hip, fle hip flexor muscles, as well as back muscles are all involved in doing the sit-ups. So excellent, very excellent choice for uh, a lot of work done in a little bit of time, considering you only have to do one exercise. Um, that's that's a, that's good. Not a lot of exercises can say that that they work that many muscle groups. So that's pretty impressive. All right. So on to benefit number two for, of doing sit-ups. Number two is enhancing the overall health of your torso. In addition, James writes. In addition to the apparent benefit of affording you a chiseled six-pack, sit-ups also go a long way in improving the health of your torso. These exercises operate by strengthening your spinal erector muscles. This element directly contributes to your having a healthy posture. It also ensures that you don't sustain unnecessary injuries that would otherwise emanate from old age by a weakened spine. Okay, so age-related protection. Moreover, by improving the stabilizer muscles, sit-ups facilitate your ability to control the motion of your torso. This makes you more nimble. That's cool, right? Who doesn't want that? Your core strength is primarily focused around your torso. Sit-ups serve to improve it, which greatly impacts on almost everything physical that you accomplish, including endurance and balance. So he's saying here that sit-ups can uh, help to serve your endurance and your balance. So that's uh, combined with the mobility and uh, you know stabilizer strengthening. That's excellent. So it's a, so yeah. So that's benefit number two, enhancing the overall health of your torso. So that's really good. All right, moving on. Number three improve stability and balance touched on a little bit of that but now he's going to dig into it a little further james writes by improving your overall stability and balance sit-ups can render your day-to-day -day life a whole lot easier for instance these exercise leads to enhanced flexibility ensuring that you are sufficiently elastic and in a better position to perform movements you otherwise couldn't Sit-ups also allow your legs to develop incredible strength that could enable you to walk and run easier. Just on a side note, I have heard that um, talked about on other health uh, sources as well, that sit-ups actually improve your run and sprint speed for those who are uh, interested in that for sport. So it's just a side note. Okay, Do, uh, James continues here. He says, doing regular sit-ups at an early age is particularly important. This strengthens your core muscles that might be very useful when you grow older. Okay, so that's good. This implies that you won't lose your ability to perform abilities that rely upon your core strength. Studies reveal that losing your balance or ability to move in your old age can be blamed on degrading core strength. Um, and I know myself from a little bit of um, personal training stuff I've done in the past, I know myself that one thing I learned is that all movement begins at the core. That's actually one of the main, uh, you know, one of the key key factors that I learned is, and, and from my own bodybuilding training myself, I can vouch for that. I can definitely say that your your core is just so important in almost everything else that you do. Every other lift, every other movement, so dependent upon that core strength. So it's excellent. All right, so number four, James, James says the fourth health benefit of sit-ups is improved posture. Posture is considered very crucial due to a number of reasons. A good posture not only protects you from injuries, it also ensures that your preparedness against dangerous blows. So bad, po bad posture is actually detrimental to your health. It can cause misalignment of your spine or neck problems. Improper posture could easily lead to long-lasting damage to your body as it means that your muscles and bones are not held appropriately. By ensuring everyday growth of your core muscles, regular sit-ups naturally improve your posture. Stronger and more toned muscles compel your body to compose itself with enhanced power while being able, uh, excuse me, while being more erect and natural. So you see an over, you see a regular improvement in your posture by strengthening your core. So it's a very positive. Lastly, he writes, besides the omission of weight or extra equipment in your exercises, ensures that you don't end up with disproportionate gains. 
Right, so you're saying there's a balanced training effect from doing sit-ups. As you strengthen multiple muscles equally, um, that avoids one muscle being substantially stronger than another. You'd be developing them very evenly, more balanced. So that's, that's good. We all can use balance uh, in our training. Awesome. So number five. Okay, so number four was improved posture. Number five, easily modified. Uh, no single exercise can beat sit-ups and its ability to be modified to suit variable workout requirements. Instead of having different workout routines that cater to specific areas of your body, you can fulfill your needs by doing simple, modified sit-ups. It's possible to alter sit-ups to enhance or decrease their intensity. You may opt to hold weights on your chest for the purposes of complementing the effort that, require, that you're required to exert, hence leading to more gains, right? In other words, you're resisting against weight, so you're making yourself a lot stronger, because you're not just doing your body weight at that point, you're also doing the additional uh, plate that you're holding up on your chest, okay? Um, then, then, then he goes on, he says, you could place your legs up on a bench, a wall, or on the bed while doing sit-ups. This would require you to do a lot more lifting before you can accomplish a single rep. So that's another way to make it harder without weight, is you can actually just uh, place your feet up higher on something. Okay. Then uh, he goes on to say there are variable sit-ups, each of which targets different sets of core muscles. Switching up on these varieties is important in ensuring that your body gets maximum improvement. And that, and with that, my personal thoughts would be is just work at it. You know, just work at it. Wherever you're at, that's great. Just doing the sit-ups and developing your muscles is going to be excellent because it's just going to get easier with time, and then you can add some of the variations to make it a little harder. So that's good. But nothing wrong with being prepared. But it is good. His point, James' point, is very good that it's easily modified. And again, I will have that video in the notes. Uh, in the in the uh, show notes below the video so you can check out again you can check out that livestrong.com on YouTube how to do a sit up and she does show the one modification with the assistance making it a little bit easier by grabbing your legs while you're pulling your body up so that's good okay so you can check that out number six on to number six best for the core sit ups are best for the core core muscles are crucial components for kinesthetic accomplishments these muscles are largely res excuse me these muscles are largely responsible for such passive attributes as posture they are divided into the following groups the lower back muscles that play a crucial role in your lifting capacity these muscles are susceptible to injury which can bring forth catastrophic consequences it is therefore imperative that you maintain the strength in your back so he's saying that that sit-ups help your lower back and that's going to protect you from back strains or back related injuries the next thing sit-ups protect you from is hip muscles and joints which come in handy when bending over and moving these muscles should be preserved lest you develop such conditions as osteoarthritis so that's that's good we want to all prevent that if we can uh, the pelvic muscles also are protected from uh, or, or protected and strengthened from sit-ups, which are vital components for balance, James says. James also writes, abdominal muscles, which provide the required support for your body and motion. By improving the strength of your core muscles, sit-ups not only facilitate your ability to move, but also improve the functionality of your organs, which is interesting. I, I gotta say, I haven't really heard that before, so that's, that's, uh, that's good, right? We'll take it. <laughs> we'll take the extra benefit. Um, he goes on to say, bad posture and weak core muscles could easily lead to improperly positioned organs, some of which could even lose their function. So he's attributing the uh, sit-ups to strengthening the core to help the organs that are in those core areas that are definitely going to be affected from doing the sit-ups, especially over time. And that's great. I mean, I don't think there'd be any arguments on that, especially since the uh, circulation of the blood and the lymphatic system is going to be improved with physical activity, helping those areas to get the, the proper, um, both the, uh, the blood and the lymph to uh, feed and to clean our muscles and organs in those areas. So that's great. And that's one of the health benefits of exercise anyway, is the improved circulation that comes with it. So that's great. Sit-ups is no exception. All right, so that's, uh, that was number six. It's best for the core. Number seven, number seventh benefit 
of doing sit-ups is it requires no special equipment. This is great for convenience. Most people get fooled into thinking that sit-ups require no specialized fitness equipment. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Most people get fooled into thinking that because sit-ups require no specialized fitness equipment, that they are not capable of chiseling out a six-pack on your torso. But in shot, but in sharp contrast, James writes, it has been shown that using fancy workout gear doesn't necessarily give you an advantage over the simple sit-up or crunch. This emphasizes the fact that you don't need to visit a gym to do sit-ups. You can comfortably accom accomplish this in the privacy and comfort of your home. So yeah, you, you know, chalk that one up. The idea of special equipments are going to do magic for you. The bottom line is, is work, is work, is work. And as long as you're working at it, working on your muscles, you're going to get stronger. You don't need a special fancy gadget um, to increase the intensity. It's just, it's just good old-fashioned hard work, and sit-ups are no exception. It can be done anywhere, which gives you great convenience. So that's that's another good benefit. All right, so number, number eight now says improved metabolism. James writes, sit-ups go beyond building your body strength. As you build your muscles, you end up consuming a lot of calories. This means that you continue burning calories even after you're done with the exercises. Doing sit-ups is very helpful for your body's metabolism, which is especially true for people who are looking to lose weight. So weight loss benefits. This is great. Most of us are always interested in that. And why not, right? It's not, it's not easy to keep a good weight, so this is important. People who take unhealthy meals have the tendency of assuming that eating a lot of food is a bad habit. If you eat a lot of wholesome, healthy food and do sit-ups regularly, you will be astonished by the benefits you reap. So that's what James writes. So that's really good. So sit-ups in, in a healthy diet. Yeah, sign us up, right? Let's do that. Health and Wealth is central channel here is all about a healthy lifestyle, helping you to improve your health um, in everyday choices that you make. All right, number nine. Nine out of 12. Nine is improved saving. Okay, let's see what he says here. I haven't actually read this. Improved savings. So what does he mean? He says, by creating a workout schedule based on the weight of your body, you can end up saving a lot of money. Okay, that makes sense. A lot of people spend too much money on workout equipment and monthly gym fees. And we just talked about that in point number seven, where we talked about how there's no need for special equipment. Let's see what he says here in point nine. He says, all, the, all these you know, the gym and workout equipment, all these will not necessarily uh, f not be necessary for you if you simply want to gain endurance and grow your muscle mass or build your, build your core strength. Contrary to popular belief, sit-up exercises do not just provide a great way of growing muscle mass, they are also effective when it comes to building core strength and endurance. To achieve this, you don't need to spend a penny there's no specialized equipment or trainer that is required. So this is good news. We can do this. We can strengthen our core. We can we can uh, prevent risks of injury. We can prevent um, age-related issues. And we can do all of this without having to invest money. We can do it anywhere, from the comfort of our home. We can do it at our workplace when able and things like that. So it's very convenient and very cheap. It's free. So it's great. Number 10, health benefits doing sit-ups. Number 10 is reduce injury risks. Kind of been touching on that already, but James is uh, bringing this out here in number 10. There are a few ways that sit-ups can prevent you from sustaining injuries. Some of these include, number one, enhance core strength. A person with a strong core is less likely to sustain injuries by lost balance or a blunt force. You are less likely to strain when doing normal work. To the elderly, there are reduced chances of losing balance. Excellent. Good. Good. Improved flexibility is number two. Sit-ups will improve your flexibility, especially at your back and hip region. Lack of flexibility is caused by tight muscles, which can be flexed if you exercise them regularly. So in other words, sit-ups will reduce that tightness and stiffness, making you more flexible in the core area. Third one, third third reduce risk of injury is is by eliminating back pain having strong core muscles can help to prevent the development of back pain when you establish your strength in the rear area you will avoid putting too much strain on your back this will help to heal minor existing problems 
and prevent getting others. Exercising your muscles gives you control over them, which means that you'll be able to avoid painful spasms. Right, so as we talked about earlier, exercise does promote and improve circulation, which is going to help healing. We're not, you know, saying miracles here, but we are saying that, you know, t a lot of the pain is just from being tight and stiff. So this can help to improve that circumstance or situation by improving mobility, improving flexibility, enhancing our core strength, and just taking down that back pain altogether. So, or at least as much as sit-ups are able to. So. That's good. It can help all of us. We all can benefit from these, uh, from the reduced risk of injury. So that was number 10. Number 11 is good looks and improved confidence. So the cosmetic side of, of sit-ups. Not only are sit-ups ideal, James writes, not only are sit-ups ideal for increasing your stamina, they also help to improve your appearance, which leads to enhanced self-esteem and confidence. Improved self-confidence could save you from mental breakdown or an anxiety attack. Sit-ups generally afford you an uh, generally afford you an appropriate posture. Standing tall and strong adds to your natural beauty. I think most of us would agree. He continues. Sit-ups require a wide range of movements that are designed to tone your abs while burning more calories. This will also give you a lean appearance with added self-confidence. Just like any other form of exercise, sit-ups ultimately make you stronger mentally and physically. This kind of strength allows you to believe in your capabilities and self-worth, so that's good, yeah. I mean, we all, we all want to look well and look strong and fit and, and uh, have that natural, natural beauty, so that's good. And it's amazing that we can do that by just including some sit-ups, you know. Will everyone get the same results? Of course not. But, you know, what I always like to say about that is we're improving ourselves. Let's not compare ourselves with other people because that's just a thief that steals your own sense of uh, value from what you're doing. But if we can improve our work on our own bodies and improve our own health physically and mentally, uh, sit-ups can help us to do that and we can be uh, happy with the results that we have. We'll certainly be far better off than we would be if we weren't doing them. All right, so James writes for number 12, the 12th benefit of doing sit-ups is increase your cardiovascular endurance. So he writes, the heart is among the most vital muscles in your body. Regular exercises, including sit-ups, can strengthen it a great deal. Sit-ups can also adjust it to do harder jobs. This is manifested by the way it pumps when you are working out or doing difficult work. Basically, when you have a strong heart, you have a better cardiovascular endurance, which proves how well your lungs, well, excuse me, which proves how well your lungs and heart are working to supply oxygen to your muscles and other organs in your body. James wraps up the article with a conclusion saying, sit-ups are the exercise that can be correctly considered a full body workout. This is extremely impressive in the face of the fact that most people spend substantial amounts of money annually to go to gyms, yet there is a single exercise that can work out the entire body. Sit-ups have been the mainstay of home routines for decades and not without a good reason. This exercise serves to strengthen your back and upper body simultaneously. Besides, besides deriving the many benefits of sit-ups, it's very easy as the exercise can be accomplished at the comfort of your home with little or no training. You can do it anywhere and anytime. No workout is greater for travel, especially when you don't have access to a gym. So that's a wrap up of the article. Um, I think it was fantastic. So again, I will just name the 12 benefits of sit-ups here just one more time in case you missed any of it. Number one was strengthening muscles. Number two, enhancing the overall health of your torso. Number three, improved stability and balance. Number four, improved posture. Number five, sit-ups are easily modified. Number six, best for the core. Number seven, requires no special equipment. Number eight, improved metabolism. Number nine, improved saving. That was the money one. You don't have to spend any money. Number 10, reduced injury risks. Number 11, good looks and improved confidence. Number 12, increase your cardiovascular endurance. 
as 12 great reasons to include sit-ups in your routine. So if you're not already doing it, or if you are someone uh, who has a limited mobility, you know, consider doing um, part of the sit-up motion. Consider a modified version that lets you do maybe half of the repetition or just the first third. Uh, work with it for a little while. See if you can do, you know, five or ten reps and, and just build yourself up. So you, so you can do more or work your way up to a full setup and then from there you can work and develop that until you're doing 20 or 30 of them you know these are great we can do them anytime in the morning or night but either way they're sure to give you all these wonderful benefits and that that's just worth makes it worth your time it's such a good full body exercise like James says for such a small amount of uh, time it's just one exercise very simple and it can benefit uh, most of your body so well, all right, that's going to wrap it up for this uh, video on Health is Wealth Central. Please feel free to subscribe if you want more videos on healthy living and healthy habits. Uh, I do appreciate you and your support, so thanks for watching, and have a great day.